this house, uh, for all of official functions, uh, we only serve uh, American wines. My wife and I, uh, almost on a daily basis, are astonished by the quality of, of Romanian wines. Um, reds, whites, uh, sparkling. Benjamin Franklin uh, famously said, wine is the constant proof of God's love for man. wine production start in the U.S. When the Europeans began to uh, settle the United States, they brought the grapes of their own from Europe. And there were attempts as early as the first settlers in the 16th century to introduce European wines into North America. It was very difficult because of the diseases they encountered, um, but over time they had success in, in introducing the the famous um, veritals of, of Europe. The earliest continuing uh, vineyard was established in 1835 or so in, in New York. Then the first vineyards established in what's now really the, the core of the American wine producing country in uh, Napa Valley and Son Sonoma Valley were also established around the same time in the 1830s. The major vineyards in the USA. The California regions, uh, Sonoma, uh, Napa Valley. California produces about 85% of all the wines uh, made in, in America. Besides Napa Valley and Sonoma, what other wine areas would you recommend for tourists? I would recommend uh, the Alexander Valley, the Russian River Valley, which is a beautiful stretch of river and road that, that runs really from Halesburg, which is just above uh, Napa, all the way to the Pacific Coast, and there are some famous uh, vineyards uh, in that area, inc including Corbel, which makes a delightful uh, sparkling wine, but then also uh, in the Central Coast area, uh, Paso Robles, San Luis Obispo, delicious wines, and it's also a, a beautiful uh, countryside. Now that's just California. Uh, we also have the Willamette Valley in, in Oregon, important uh, wine producing regions in Washington State, Walla Walla Valley for example, uh, and then uh, if you're on the East Coast I'd strongly recommend going to New York State, the Five Finger Lakes region, and then also in Long Island um, there are important wine producing areas and that's beautiful uh, countryside so for a tourist you can enjoy uh, wonderful scenery, landscapes, and then also enjoy uh, delicious wines. Which are your favorite American wines? It really depends on the season. Um, my wife and I, uh, in the summer, uh, like a, a dry, crisp uh, wine, like a, a Sauvignon Blanc. In the fall, a Pinot Noir is often uh, very uh, tasty. In the winter, when we're eating heavier uh, foods, we like um, Syrah, for example, or Zinfandel. Um, two wines that I think go uh, well uh, regardless of the season are a Chardonnay's and then uh, Cabernet uh, Sauvignon. Uh, but uh, I really have noticed over time that uh, whether it's, depending on whether it's hot or it's cold, uh, we make uh, changes to which uh, wines we drink. You are from Midwest Michigan. Is wine as popular there as in the East or West Coast? It's not grown as, as much. It, the climate isn't um, ideal for uh, growing a wine and, and also uh, depends on, on the soil. Uh, but Michigan does uh, produce some grapes. I also spent a, a good deal of time in Indiana uh, and a small amount of wine is, is produced there. Um, in terms of uh, its popularity, I think uh, wine is increasing across the United States. Uh, popularity, probably a generation or two generations ago, beer was a more uh, common uh, drink. So I have no doubt that over the past couple decades uh, that the population in the United States that enjoys a, a drink, a beverage, that uh, wine has um, uh, taken a greater proportion than, than beer has.
in college due to drink beer or wine. I went to school during my undergraduate years in Indiana University, um, and I know I drank a lot more beer than I did wine. <laughs> but um, uh, I remember you know, Ingle Nook um, wineries from California, my friends and I, when we had the money, uh, we bought some uh, Ingle Nook. Um, and uh, depending on the occasion, wine was an important uh, beverage for us as well. The official receptions at the White House or State Department events, they are only American wines being served? My wife and I attended a reception at the White House in January of last year. If I recall correctly, uh, only American wines were, were being served. I would expect that would be the case uh, generally. Uh, there might be an exception uh, occasionally. Uh, certainly in this house, uh, for all of official functions, uh, we only serve uh, American wines. Are you a wine collector? I'm not. Because uh, we enjoy wine so much, we drink it as soon as we buy it. Uh, we do keep a little bit uh, uh, as, uh, just in case uh, friends come over, but I've never uh, invested in wine, for example, nor collected it. When did you have your first glass of wine? Interesting question. Um, my parents have a picture of me when I was a, a young boy, maybe four or five uh, years old, drinking out of a bottle of beer. I grew up with German immigrants, uh, and they too, um, uh, I think, uh, drank more beer than, than wine. But uh, we had a different approach to children and young adults uh, uh, drinking in German families than uh, the typical American family. So I probably had my first glass of wine when I was relatively young. I know uh, quite confidently uh, that my high school graduation, uh, which took place in Germany, uh, we had wine on the table. So I know at least by that point I was uh, t experimenting with wine. Your thoughts on Romanian wines? Have you visited any local wineries? My wife and I, uh, almost on a daily basis, are astonished by the quality of, of Romanian wines. Um, reds, whites, uh, sparkling. Unfortunately, i uh, only been to maybe four or five uh, uh, wineries um, in, in Dragoshan and also in the Prahova Valley. Um, but we have uh, tried uh, wines from uh, uh, all over. Uh, Romania, from the Banat, from around Oradia, from Droboja, Transylvania, and uh, very sincerely, uh, I think one of the, the uh, major surprises, the pleasant surprises that we've had uh, coming to Romania was to uh, discover the very, very high quality of, of Romanian wines. And your favorite Romanian wine? Since we're here for a relatively short time, we've been trying to taste as many as possible, discover as many Romanian wines as possible. If there are two that we kind of come back to uh, more frequently uh, than others, it's probably wines from the Avincius uh, winery uh, in uh, Dragoshan and then also Casa Izarescu. Romanian wines are not well known overseas. For example, my brother, my brother and my sister-in-law, uh, also enjoy uh, wines and they, uh, when I go to their home they have a, a map of varieties from around the world and on this map only one Romanian variety uh, appears, the Tosca Niagara, which is of course is a very Im important uh, variety and, and uh, a popular one, but others like um, Babayasca Niagara, uh, Fetasca Alb, uh, Fetasca uh, Regala, Crumbochier, uh, all of these other uh, uh, varieties that are delicious and, and found in Romania um, don't, not only do not appear on this map of wines from around the world, uh, but are not well known to um, uh, people from outside of Romania, unfortunately. Hope this will change soon. The founding fathers of America also appreciated wine. Among our founding fathers, um, Thomas Jefferson uh, uh, tried to plant a vineyard in, at his estate in Monticello in, in Virginia. Benjamin Franklin uh, famously said, wine is the constant proof of God's love for man and uh, for a man that is happy. Um, and so with that, uh, let me thank you for this opportunity and Norok and Sanatate.